While many of us enjoy the holidays at home, others are not so fortunate, like some of the patients at St. David's Medical Center. But this year, they are getting some help lifting their spirits. KXAN's Amanda Brandeis explains. There's a new staff member here at St. David's, and while she doesn't say much, she knows just what to say to make people smile. <laughs> the power to heal doesn't always require a degree. It just makes people happy. There you go, girl. Oh, she's a good dog. And a smile can sometimes be the best medicine. She just walks in. It's almost like they forget they're in the hospital for a moment. Would you like to pet her? Is it okay? It's your birthday. Okay. Monica Johnson is a social worker at the hospital and working alongside her now Avalon. It's the first time a hospital employee has used a service dog to help them on the job. They're way happier to see her than they are me for sure. <laughs> Get it. It takes about a year to train a dog like Avalon and that is uh, including us working with the dog and then teaching the recipient like Monica how to essentially become a trainer themselves. And Monica knows better than anyone the power of a dog's healing. Um, it's a complete um, game changer. In 1999, Monica was in a car accident that left her paralyzed. Well, you know, you've been alone for so long and then you have somebody that's there constantly um, as a best friend, as a companion, as somebody that can help you. And now helping so many others too in a place where it's needed most. Look at how far you've come. I know she has a lot of love to give and the more people that can be on the receiving end of that, the better. It's just something that humans just can't do. We'll just give that, you know, it's instant, unconditional love. Amanda Brandeis, KXAN News. The organization Service Dogs, Inc. provided Johnson her new best friend at no cost to her. And since the group started, they helped nearly 1,000 people live more independent lives.